Over a year ago, I downloaded the STL file to print this T1 drag panel bus from Nowell Customs. He has a tremendous library of work over on Colts3D.com. The designs are amazing. So I printed it out. Geez, I, it's been sitting on the bench easily for over a year. And I had some ideas for what I wanted to do with it. And I think in a way, some of those ideas kept me from moving forward because it's such a beautiful print. I didn't want to mess it up because <laughs> I was going to do some stupid things with it. I wanted to fit this thing with muscle machine wheels. And that complicated the situation because you can't remove the axles out of those wheels. So what I ended up doing, even though I did, you know, the, printed out and printed out the chassis that you see there up top center. I didn't use that chassis because the way the wheels work out, I have to have an exceptionally thin bar that they sit on. And so I ended up making, redoing a base out of styrene and I'm using one eighth inch square tubing to make that center bar. I took the muscle machines wheels and you'll see a little bit closer a little bit later. But I, I cut them and then I put brass tubing between them and then glued them in, glued the uh, muscle machine's axles into that brass tubing. But it made it so I had to do this custom base uh, because you can't pull the axle out. So what I end up doing is I use two of these 1 8 inch square tubing bars and I kind of create a suspension and not all that different than, you know, some of the like matchbox style interiors or chassis. You know, I use plaster struct uh, cement there to hold it together. And so there's going to be two of these bars. And there you see it. There's one bar above the other. And you see how I notched, I notched the bottom bar. And you'll see it a little bit better here in a second, but I notched the bottom bar and use the top bar to hold them in place. And then to make those bars a little more solid, I slid solid brass tubing into those openings on that square rod, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I shot everything, including the print and this styrene base with uh, Krylon Specialty Lacquer Gloss Black. There you see me just kind of fitting those Muscle Machines wheels in there. The Muscle Machines wheels, I love the look of them on this particular build. I did have to uh, take a Dremel tool and create a little bit of room on the inside of that resin print on the back end. And, you know, that's always a little nerve wracking when you're working with resin because it, it is exceptionally brittle. But... Uh, it worked out well. There was enough meat back there that I was able to take some out of. This does roll. It's not the best roller on earth, but it rolls. And uh, so here you see what I was mentioning about. That is solid brass. It isn't a brass tube. It's a solid brass bar, round, round bar. That, you know, I bought one of those odds and ends kits of metal parts and kind of like you get the bits and pieces of stuff. Now there you see the uh, printing itself after I had shot it with that same black lacquer. What I didn't notice at this point, and it'll show up later, there are some little pinholes in that. Ah, the Ushi Metal Polishing Powder. This is steel type. I've also had this for just under a year. And I first saw this being used by Chris over at CK Project X YouTube channel. At least I think it was you, Chris. It's been a while <laughs> and this stuff wasn't cheap, but I, so I was a little leery of using it. I wanted to use it. I wasn't sure how far it was going to go. And it turns out that the price isn't that bad because it did not take much to really do this entire body. And as you can see, I, when there's any that falls on the map behind me, I'm getting it up off the mat. I'm making every little bit of this stuff stretch. And it does. It stretches really well. I was originally thinking that I might add some stripes to this when it's done or decals of some kind. 
And once I saw how nice this metal polishing compound looks, I fell in love with the look. I didn't add anything else to it. And it is interesting. You polish it up and the light catches it different ways and it, it truly has such a metal look to it. Once I get through putting it on with the Q-tip here, I do go over it with a cotton, uh, cotton ball. Just again, polishing it up. It, it's really interesting stuff and I used barely any of it which made me a lot more comfortable with the cost of it. I just remember at, at the time I had income, I don't have an income anymore, <laughs> but at the time I did, so I didn't mind buying it. Um, but uh, I don't know if I would have made that same choice today, but at the time, you know, I was still buying some stuff and, and messing around. And so, you know, I didn't mind getting this. And the results really are wonderful. So I, I do highly recommend this stuff in spite of the cost. It will go a ways, which is, is really comforting. And I like can see me there. I am picking up all the little dots off the, off the mat just to make sure I don't waste any. They do say you do not want to breathe this stuff in, and I can see why. But you're seeing how that polishes up. It's really something. So, you know, at this point, I'm really happy with that result. I do go over it with Minwax Gloss Clear Poly. And you're not really seeing it too well there, but uh, there are those little pinholes that you'll see later. They aren't pinholes, they're just little dots that are unfortunate. <laughs> and I didn't spot them until later. I, did want, I didn't want to try vacuuming glass for this because I would have had to make a buck with the pattern and try and get it to fit and everything. This was the perfect situation to use uh, Micro Crystal Clear that you've seen me use before. It's always tricky, you just have to get enough of it around the opening and then you pull it across and, and you have to be kind of patient and it's going to hit this point where you have enough and then when you go to do the pull, it makes it. And I only will show you one side here and it is one of those things that I think with a little practice you get better at it. This was a big window area to try and fill this way. So uh, I wouldn't recommend trying this as your first attempt at using this stuff. Uh, practice on something else first before you try anything this size. But there you see it. And then that will dry clear. I do the other side as well after this, this side dried. And uh, again, I'm really happy with the results. So that that's, then there you can see it. I did not make an interior for this because it is dark in there. It might've been nice to have maybe something with red seats, <laughs> but uh, I resisted the urge and uh, I'm so happy to have this build completed because it has been sitting on the bench for a while. And as you see, the base just fits in, fits perfectly. I, I was really happy with how that turned out. I do end up, once I have this uh, on there like that, I give it a few test rolls. It's looking good, it's rolling okay. I did tack. And I just take, that's just super glue. And I take uh, a toothpick and just hit the four corners of that base just to make it a little more solid. And it, and it really didn't take much. It, after I had put this on there and it dried, it did work very well. That base is not coming off. So there you have it. I'm really happy with how this turned out. That metal look, and you're gonna see in the glamour shots as well, depending upon how the light catches it, it has a very interesting look. You will see the dots here, there on the side. You can kind of see them right there uh, towards the back end. They just appear to be black spots. And again, if I had finished that body off, maybe with, uh, if I had noticed it earlier and hit it with some spot putty, those would disappear. But uh, it's a beautiful design by Noel Customs. And definitely check out his work. 
I mean, how can you beat that there? Look at that. Um, <laughs> and I do like the muscle machines wheels on here. I, I think it was a good choice size wise and appearance wise. They have so much meat to them. It's really kind of cool. So uh, everybody, I hope you like this build. I know this is a little different than the usual die cast kind of stuff. And uh, I'm pretty darn happy with it. In case that doesn't show. <laughs> everybody, thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.